Matt Damon. Why does it work so well? I mean, I would think by now you've established a special language between the two of you. Yeah, um, I think it's to do with shared interests and shared instincts. You know, we both love the big action movies. I think we both love our big action movies to have that foot on the accelerator, full tilt adrenaline rush that, you know, hits you from the first frame to the last. Mm -hmm. But I think we love that sort of a film married to smart, clear, intelligent storytelling and also married to a really strongly contemporary theme that feels like it's ripped from the headlines. And I think if you get that package right and then put Matt Damon in the heart of a big action movie, which is where people love to see him, you know, doing the running and the jumping and the fighting and the driving and all that stuff, but able also to be an easy to relate to yeah. you know, central, emotionally sympathetic character mm -hmm. who's going to take you on that journey through the pell-mell action. If you do that, you tell it with passion and you work hard, you know, that's Green Zone. Yeah, he's pretty fearless. Do you ever get nervous about him doing his own stunts? Sometimes, yeah, you do, actually, to be honest. Um, because oftentimes, I mean, people forget, you know, they think that movies are very glamorous and, of course, it's a great privilege to make them. But it doesn't maybe feel like quite such a privilege when you're in the middle of Morocco and it's <laughs> four in the morning and you've been up for six straight nights shooting and you know you've got another 24 to go and you're asking him to run again flat out and he's been doing it for 12 hours and he's got to go up a wall and along and mm -hmm. then jump down and do and then fight. And, and that's when the dangers come on film sets, when people get tired sure. and you maybe make a miscalculation and so you always have to every day you go shooting if you're directing a film the first thing you do is consider the safety aspect and you sit with your first ad and you look at the whole day's work and you go what have we not considered because they're very dangerous place film sets and people can get hurt so you've always got to be very 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 careful yeah what i find so amazing about this paul is that you used real soldiers real guys mm. who were out there who knew exactly what was going on what mm. they had to go through how an amazing experience was that for you and your crew and well it was fantastic in lots of ways actually it was great because from my point of view when we were setting these sort of big set pieces i mean i mean the last 20 minutes of this movie is like one relentless huge set piece. It's the biggest kind of action set piece I've ever directed. And you know, when you're surrounded by people who've got combat experience, you're just surrounded by expertise. Mm. You, you know, it, it just makes your life easier. I think it also made Matt's life easier because it meant that he was surrounded by people who were going to support him. And, and that, I think, was enormously beneficial to him. But then beyond that really was the experience of making the film because mm -hmm. it just made the entire experience just endlessly fascinating and you know just as a life experience making Green Zone you know is, is, it's been absolutely extraordinary to meet that group of people to spend several months with them to listen to their stories and to hear their views on the world which were always very different but always very heartfelt and interesting. Yeah, it's really a very good film, and uh, keep them oh, coming. Just well. keep them coming, okay? <laughs> oh, okay Get I'll right try. back out there right now. Okay. <laughs> In lot. the snow in Central Park. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. <laughs> nice to Thanks talk to you. Thank Bye. you so much.